In this video, we're going to do some examples of file input and output in C. So when we're working with files, we're going to use file pointers. And I'm going to have an input buffer. And I'll also have an out, output string. And we'll use those later. And one thing to keep in mind here is that these functions take strings, so character pointers. But I want to make sure that I have memory allocated for that. So I'm going to use arrays. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open in file for reading. And I'm going to read names.txt. And I'm going to open it in reading mode. And then I'm going to open out, out file. And notice I'm going to do W there. So now I'm going to read the input file line by line. But to make sure I don't have a buffer overflow, I'm going to do it increments that are size large. So this fgets reads the file, and it'll return null once it's done. So the while loop will exit. And I'm going to want a loop counter here. Actually, let me declare that up here, because I might want it again later. So I'll make it a, I won't declare it just there. I'll start with 0. And just to make sure I don't change it above, I'm going to go ahead and reset it to zero. And I'll print that counter value. And then I'll print the input buffer. I call it line counter, just so that makes a little more sense what's, what it's doing. So if I cat names.txt, you can see a bunch of different names here. And if I compile my code, my program, I have an error. So we have an unused variable and we haven't used outstring yet, but that's okay. We will get to that. So if I run this, First off, I'm not incrementing my counter. Now, one other thing, so you might notice is that there's an extra space here. So I'm printing a new line, but my string, it looks like has a new line in it, which makes sense because I'm reading an entire line of a file and the file ends with a new line. So what I'm going to do, since files get read with a trailing new line, I'm going to write a function that lets me find a new loop through a file or a string. And it, once it finds a new line, it puts a null terminator. So while if I dereference the pointer, it's not equal to a new line. I'm going to increment it. Then this stops once we're pointing at a new line. So I dereference the pointer and set that equal to the null terminator. Now, hopefully you see that there's a real problem with this, with this function. 
what if this string doesn't have a new line? Well, we're going to be in trouble because we're going to search for that new line. So I'm going to update this to where if it's a if it has a new line or a null terminator. And the reason for this is this is the end of the string. So if I get to the end of the string, I also want to stop. And then once I read in the function, I can go ahead and clean it. And since that works in memory, I can just say chomp input buffer. And again, the dangers of copying and pasting. Okay, so yeah, we still haven't used outstring or out file. That's okay. That's not good. Okay, so let's see if we can get this cleared up. That looks better. <laughs> yeah, that's never good. And this is a case where I think I want to do a printf. Ah. So actually, my logic is wrong here. This should be an AND, and then I should not the whole thing. So while, or actually I don't need the not there. I can just say while it's not new line and it's not, the OR there was wrong. So I think that should fix it. And it did. And so you'll notice we get nice output now. So again, what was going on there is this was an OR. Well. It's never going to, it's always going to satisfy the condition, is it this or is it that? Because it's never going to be both. And so it's, this is never going to be completely true. So I, what I'm checking is, is that they're both not true at the same time. So now we have nice output there. We, we have all these strings that we've read. Let's write a formatted output line to out string, then write outstring to the output file. So I'm going to use sprintf. I'm going to print to outstring. What the name is. And then let's write a function to add the ASCII value of a string. I think that would be interesting. So we have the input buffer, and then we have the result of whatever our okay. And I think that should do it. Now we just have to write that function. So we'll go, we'll go back and do that, and then. Once we have that output string, we're going to f put s that to our out string to our out file. And just to make sure we don't run into any trouble, let's put the line counter increment at the end. Okay, so now let's write our function to add the ASCII value of everything in or every value in a string. So we're going to call this add ASCII and it's going to take a character pointer. And we are assuming that this is a valid 
string. So that's something to keep in mind. So really, if you pass it, it's not, it doesn't actually work on strings. It works on character arrays. And essentially, once you pass it a pointer to a, to a character, it adds up the values of all the bytes until a null terminator is reached. So my sum is going to start with zero. And while the pointer is not equal to the null terminator, we're going to add that character's integer value or ASCII value to the sum. And then we're going to increment the pointer. And then we'll return the sum. And that should do it. missing a closing parentheses there. Ah, that's a good point. We are, we actually want the output to be, let's just make it twice as big because we're not, we could in theory be writing everything from the input buffer to the output buffer. So that's a, that's a good warning. And again, it shows you how you should always pay attention to your warnings. Okay, so there's that. And if I do an ls-l, you can see there's an output dot, there's a output dot text now. Once I do that, you can see here's the value, here's the name, and then here's the ASCII total. That's kind of terrible output. So let me just put that in a, bra a bracket, a brace. Okay, so if I build it, and there's my output file. So I also here forgot to close my files that I was working with. So let me do that. And suppose I want to count the number of characters in the file. Well, I've already closed the file, so I can actually reopen it. For reading. Let me initialize line counter to zero again. And then while get C file pointer is not equal to the end of file. And commit counter. And then I can say F close end file. And I'll print the number of characters in the file is. I'm actually going to change that line counter to just counter because I realize now I'm using it in two different ways. Okay, so here at the end I'm printing how many or what the number of characters in the file is. File pointers are declared. Oh, yeah, because I called it in, in pointer or in file. Notice I'm reusing that. After I close it, I can always set it to something else. And I'm calling print again.
And so the number of characters in the file is 49. So 4, 9, 17, 23, 28, 35, 41, and then there's eight lines. So that's 49 characters because you have the eight new lines. That's file input and output in C.